Hey guys, Joe here with another shop series episode. Today we are working on a Peterbilt 379 semi truck. We are color matching the hood, the roof, the cap of the sleeper, along with painting the fenders and the tanks a darker green. We are fully packed here at the shop, so first we'll move around some cars and then we'll get started. I'll start by removing any decals that are on the truck. We will be detailing anything that we don't paint. The rubber racer wheel is perfect for removing these decals. With just enough pressure, I let the wheel do the work. It removes all these old vinyl stickers without damaging any of the paint. We'll tape off a barrier on the areas that we are not going to paint. This is to make sure that we don't scuff or cause any more work on the adjacent panels. We did most of the sanding with the DA and we'll come back by hand to get around the rivets. We are going to take the headlight off and finish sanding around it before spraying down some primer and starting the blocking process. We still need to feather some areas in and make sure everything is smooth to the touch before moving over to the paint. After taping the truck up, we'll lay a few layers of coats of primer and then before it dries completely, we'll dust a layer of guide coat. This will give us a solid foundation to block. The goal is to sand away the black and this will tell you where there's any highs or low spots and then we'll dress those accordingly. I want to give a shout out to the guys at our local Napa Auto Center. Bunch of great guys over there, they've helped us get started and recently just set up our very own Valspar paint bank. Now we can mix any color you can possibly think of. So once Pop found this color, we mixed it and started spraying. Now sticking with the lighter green on the darker green, man this truck is going to look good. The fenders was a tri-stage color and called for a base coat before the color coat. After laying the base coat down and three coats of top color, we were left with this nice emerald green that really suits the truck. Next, we will demask the truck. Get off all the old plastic paper and tape off before retaping the truck for the second color. This ensures that both colors get a nice crisp transition. Pop sprayed the lower half and I went up top and sprayed the rest. Another semi truck leaving the shop looking new and ready for its new owner. Man these trucks take a beating, but with a little bit of love and some long hours they sure do look great. We got some classic cars along with some more semi trucks to paint, so I'll see you guys on the next video.